to think of other losing presidential candidates who came out with a book about the election in less than a year after losing the election. I mean, Walter Mondale didn't do it. Michael Dukakis didn't do it. Al Gore didn't do it. Mitt Romney, John McCain. Uh, the list goes on and on. Maybe there's somebody uh, I'm missing. But it's a little bit of an unusual situation, sure, because Hillary Clinton has been a political celebrity in our lives for so long, since her days as Bill Clinton's first lady, uh, and because of the nature of the election and Donald Trump, and she did win the popular vote and all of that. But still, uh, I wonder, I'm sure there's a market for the book because there are a lot of people who voted for Hillary Clinton who wish she were president or can't stand Donald Trump or whatever, so I'm sure she'll do very well with it. But what could we learn from such a book? Uh, or has America just moved on? So CNN obtained an advanced copy, uh, which, ha which, which was interesting on this score. Everything that Hillary Clinton has said publicly just about since November 8th, 2016, has been, well, it's, it's his fault and her fault and their fault, and everything except it's my fault. She comes off that a little bit in the excerpts that I've seen now of this book. For example, I go back over my own shortcomings and the mistakes we made. I take responsibility for all of them. You can blame the data, blame the message, blame anything you want, but I was the candidate, it was my campaign, those were my decisions. That's a step forward in her coming to grips with reality. For example, not spending any time in Wisconsin, not spending much time in Michigan, along with all other kinds of difficulties. Uh, but she still has plenty of finger pointing to do. Bernie Sanders, well, Bernie, you know, he uh, was using innuendo against me and he paved the way for Trump to call me crooked Hillary. Excuse me, we all saw the debate where Bernie Sanders said, I don't give a damn about your emails. And another candidate might have campaigned on that 23 hours a day. Bernie didn't, but the emails were a big problem. And as and, and she goes through the list, she says, yeah, the email private server was dumb while she worked at the State Department. Dumb, that's an understatement. Uh, Clinton also says that um, giving big money speeches to Wall Street banks, that was also, oh, it was bad optics. Bad optics, that's true. Okay. Um, she takes a whack at Joe Biden, who's been critical of uh, the former Secretary of State since the election, saying she didn't focus enough on the middle class. Hillary says, well, Biden was out there campaigning for me, talking about the middle class. Yeah, but the former vice president was a surrogate. You were the candidate. And, of course, Jim Comey uh, was a rash FBI director. Uh, she blames as well. And she blames the media. Everybody does, likes to whack the media. New York Times in particular for the way they covered the email scandal. Times broke the story. Okay, well, if you hadn't had a private email server, then the media, whether you think they overplayed it or not, wouldn't have anything to write about on that score. Uh, and she even talks about her marriage to Bill. She thinks that a lot of people think it's just a marriage on paper, but uh, by and large, she still loves him, she says. And then there's this telling moment of puzzlement, shall we say, in which Hillary Rodham Clinton says, what makes me such a lightning rod for fury? I'm really asking, I'm at a loss. She's trying to understand why so many people dislike her, resent her, and all of that. She finally comes up with, I think it's partly because I'm a woman. Well, you can't completely remove sexism uh, in, in a country that's elected 45 men to the office of president of the United States. So I, I don't think there's that much for the rest of us to learn. Uh, it may be interesting to see what she thinks, but it's not exactly like she's ever going to run again for anything or that she's going to lead the anti-Trump resistance. The Democratic Party obviously wants to find a younger generation of leaders. So I think maybe Hillary Clinton just wanted to explain herself that she was writing this in part for history because she will, in her view, she's remembered as the flawed candidate who gave the country Donald Trump, which obviously she thinks that's a very bad outcome. Uh, the 63 million people who voted for Trump would not agree. And maybe, just maybe, it was therapeutic for her to write this book.